Peace out. All right. Well, hello and welcome, guys, to another adventure of Kappa Miramoto Vlogs. Squad. We are on a dual vlog today with uh, my father, who's lagging his ass behind because he likes driving slow. Oh, <laughs> I popped the wheelie a little bit. I wanted to talk about, there's a UFC fight last night, which is uh, Connor, Colin, McGregor versus Aldo. McGregor, if you guys don't like him, I don't really like him either. He talks a shit ton of shit, but I guess he backs it up, right? He talks the talk, but he also walks the walk, and he, and he backs it up, and I could have swore Aldo was gonna come out there and kick him until his legs just couldn't handle it anymore. And what happens? Fucking 13 seconds into the fight, Aldo goes against everything that he does and lunge punches or like Superman punches slash tries to like punch McGregor in the face and McGregor just like hits him in the jaw and knocked him right out. I was shocked. I did not see the fight ending like that that fast. A newfound respect for him because uh, he's obviously a, a, a beast, a beast of a, of a fighter. Let's, let's be courteous. I just wanted to let these people go. So my dad is on a uh, 2002 Vespa ET2. It's a 50cc two-stroke. I've talked about it before, so I won't go into detail, but it's a pretty good bike. I mean, he's hold it, he holds up with me. If I stay around 40, he's right up my, my tail. I don't know if you guys can see that, you know, for 50cc, it's a two-stroke, so it's peppy as shit, man. Off the line, he, he holds with me off the line, but once we get up to around 35, 40, I can pass him, but off the line, he gives me a good, a good run for my money, which is funny. We are taking a trip today to this place called um, Big Brook Farm. Did he make it? Yeah, he made it. Big Brook motherfucking farm. Big Brook Farm is a place that I went when I was uh, in middle school. It's not a farm, it, more or less it's like a park, Big Brook Park. And you could uh, fossil hunt and shit there. Yes, I said fossil hunt. Uh, what we did when I was in middle school, actually, I don't think I even was in middle school at the time. I was at this school over here, which is Cedar Drive. Uh, or no, not Cedar Drive. Um, it's the elementary school. It's Conover Elementary School. We took this trip to Big Brook. It was actually really cool. They gave us, like, these pans and shit. And you, you, like, put the pan in the water and you, like, shake it and shit. You look through it. And I got, like, some... I still have them at home. I got, like, shark teeth and shit. Let's see if these guys wave at us. Guaranteed no. Nope. Oh, yeah, we got a enthusiastic way. Oh, yeah, GTO. I love that bike. These people who ever live here, if you watch my motor vlogs, your house is fucking stupid. <laughs> I always wanted to go back there. You see those electrical? Oh, I could go that way. Um, but I don't know if you're allowed to. I know if I had a dual sport, that's the first place I'm going once I get a dual sport is that electrical plant over there. Big Brook is just kind of like a reserve. It, it has like uh, animals on it and shit and just, oh my god, these houses in my town are retarded. I know, we're on a road that we probably shouldn't really be on because uh, Schillensinger Preserve. See, there's a lot of reserves and preserves on my town. I think most of which I wouldn't really be able to ride um, a dual sport on, but I would. And that's why I think my next bike is going to be a dual sport or something that I convert. I've, uh, I've thought about converting my own bike and going through the Vermont way. I don't know, I, I just really want electric start. There's only a few different types of electric start dirt bikes out there. One being the TTR 225, the TTR 230, the CRF 230, the CRF 250X, um, DRZ 250. That's an old bike. A lot of the old bikes have electric start. I guess they decided that the dirt bikes, they didn't, that, you know, nobody, nobody uses electric start because everybody wants to be fast and do tricks like do hood rat shit with their friends. There's actually a water park up here. I've never been here. It's obviously not too far from my house. I always thought about going here, but I heard there's a lot of really crazy people that go to this water park. Uh, if you've ever been there, let me know. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> So you're gonna have to get over your shit. Oh, look at this preserve. You see, I would dual sport all of this. You just like go off road. There's a lot of cool, cool uh, roads back here. Just checking on what my dad's doing. I, I, I actually forget how to get into this place. So, ooh, squaw. I guess you can't get in that way. I thought you could. I always wanted to hit that hill as a jump on a, on a. Oh, there's goats. I have no idea where I'm going. I fucked up. I think I fucked up, because I don't think that you can- Oh my god, look at this fucking pickup truck. 
<laughs> oh fuck. I don't know what these roads are. What are the, what's the speed of that road? What's the speed of that road? I don't know. All right. I, I fucked up. He's better at navigating than me anyways. Actually, funny story about this place right here. I, uh, I almost got arrested when I was in high school because of this area right here. One, we used to ride quads all back there and uh, supposedly you're not supposed to. <laughs> the other thing was, uh, I think we're coming up to it. Um, see, he's fucking flying. I'm going 43 and he's going at least fit, like 50 on a 50cc scooter. Talk about that shit. I'll talk about the two places right now. I don't know what that is. That looks like some kind of Illuminati bullshit. Anyways, there's a house coming up or something uh, on the left, unless they demolished it. We came here at night. Yeah, they did. There used to be a fucking sketchy ass haunted house right there. And what we did was we came out and came at night with all the baseball kids on in high school and we went back there uh, oh shit that looks cool so we we went there and it's supposedly haunted because this used to be a mental institution where they used to like put the people in the white jackets and shit but they shut down so supposedly it's like haunted and what we did was we went to this house and as we pull up everyone's scared of shit we only took two cars a bmw which was one of my teammates bmws and my pickup truck so at the time I was only 16, so I'm only supposed to be driving with one other person, right? So I had, I think, 12 people in my car, six inside and six in the back, like laying down. We drove like all the way from Red Bank to Marlboro with the people in the back of the car. We get there, everyone's scared, we're all pissing. As we're pissing before we go into this haunted house, the, a cop pulls up as we all have our pants down. It was like fucking ridiculous. And he goes like, hey. Uh, you guys are trespassing. It's a $500 fine. And if you guys don't have the $500, uh, we're going to arrest you. I was like, oh, fuck. And then he goes, how did all you guys get here? And I was like, oh, you know, we have cars down the road. Like, being a smart little fucker that I was. Well, some of my teammates were like, no, we drove here in that car. He goes, the cop goes, whose car is that truck? I'm like, I'm looking around. And I thought someone else was going to take the blame for it. No one did. So I had to raise my hand. And he's like... How many people were in that car? I was like, uh, just, just one other person. He goes, so then how the other 11 people get here? And I was like, they were in the back of the truck. He's like, okay, I need your driver's license and registration. And he gave me this fucking long talk about shit. And then he knew, he ended up knowing my, my coach and the athletic director. And he called the athletic director and got me in a shit ton of trouble and our team in trouble. But I didn't get arrested and I didn't get a fine because he actually used to go to my high school when he was younger. So he gave us a break. But then the other story was I used to, my dad, who's right there, and myself, we used to ride quads in this area back in the day when we had them at our house. And we used to trailer quads out to this area and, uh, oh fuck, I think we're at a road that we're, we shouldn't be on. Route 79. <laughs> Uh, I think we're gonna have to turn around. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. All right, we're gonna go to that sketchy farm that says no trespassing. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm glad that my dad thinks the same way that I think. For Christmas, I wanted to get him um, a GoPro and he could do his own moto vlogs, but he insists on wearing an open fucking face helmet all year round because he says it matches his Vespa better. I know, for Christ's sakes, right? Like, what the fuck? We parked our car in this pit. It wasn't a pit. I think it was a development at the time that was being built. And we were going and riding our quads. <laughs> and there was like, it's where the power lines are. So there's no, uh, houses can't be built there. Cause I think like people, there's some kind of rule that says a cow houses can't be built like within the hundred yards of these giant ass like power plant lines so everybody rides their dirt bikes and quads there we were riding and i guess someone called the cops on us and i had crashed i crashed my quad pretty bad and hurt myself really good i didn't realize that my shoulder was fucked up at the time but because i had adrenaline pumping but we used to ride back there and there was a giant hill it was a single track hill and i saw that there was a lot of you know it looked like there must have been a lot of dirt bikes going up this one hill and so i said you know what if a dirt bike can get up the hill this is me being a retard at the time if a dirt bike can get up the hill then fuck my quad could get up a hill my two-wheel drive quad 250 
EX, Honda 250 EX. If you guys ever knew that, it was yellow. I loved it. That's why I had the yellow helmet and the yellow gear, and I had yellow gloves I used to wear my earlier motor vlogs. So I go to get up this hill, and I get about three quarters of the way up. I didn't realize my dad had just made it up the hill, but he had a Foreman, a Honda Foreman four-wheel drive, and he's yelling down at me, don't go. You're never going to make it. Like, it's too high. You only have two-wheel drive. You're going to flip the bike. You're going to you're gonna fall back. I didn't hear him. I start going. I get about 75% of the way up the hill, and I'm, like, leaning all the way up on the bike, and it just, like, started hopping and flipped on me. I fell on my back, and the quad hit me real hard in my shoulder. This looks awesome. State property, no trespassing. Of course, this is sketchy. Oh, my God. This is awesome. Wow. This is fucking sketchy as fuck. There's definitely some home. There's definitely some homeless people that live in this shit. No smoking. This is so fucking sketchy. Hail Hitler, coming bitch. Huh? Old dairy farm. Oh, old dairy farm. Old dairy farm. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, two, uh, 111, I guess. Oh, I got off the ground there. getting better guys can almost get off the ground we are in uh, a drug-free school zone <laughs> there's no school around here you little motherfuckers yeah that was pretty cool my dad was saying that this uh, he knows the place that used to be an old dairy farm uh, so I guess there was an abandoned old dairy farm oh this is right this is right where we used to go with the quad right here uh, yeah it was pretty cool So I guess I've realized that you don't have to be going real slow to wheelie on the Grom. I could be going like 10, 12 miles an hour and still get the front wheel off the ground. I just really got to give it into, uh, get into it, lean, lean back on it. That was pretty cool. Nice ride. I mean, it's almost everywhere you go. I mean, this, this I think is, that's a little crazy for that to be a 50 mile an hour road, especially with the fans. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize there's a 50 mile an hour road. Yeah, my dad was saying that it's kind of crazy that this road that we were just on was a 50 mile an hour road. I mean, I didn't give a shit when he was following me. I was doing like 35 miles an hour just because I was looking at everything from this truck, dude. <laughs> Another thing that I'd like to talk about, I, I hit 500 subscribers and I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to all the original guys and I want to say thank you to all the new uh, subscribers that I've get. Look at this turn, this is fucking awesome, woo! I promised that I would make some kind of collateral at 500 subscribers. So what I'm going to do is this week I'm going to go on Teespring. I'm not quite sure how it works, but Teespring uh, is like a t-shirt thing that you don't have to put down any money, but you just like uh, design the shirt and then they make you they give you like a profit or whatever i'm not trying to make a huge profit but they only let me <laughs> they only let me sell the, the shirts for like 20 bucks at the lowest or some shit whatever but I'll, I'll do like 50 i guess i don't know how much they're gonna sell i don't want to do too little and then i don't want to do too much but i guess whatever i'm sorry we didn't get to go to big brook today <laughs> that was a giant fail i guess this is technically big brook and on the on the map it says that you can get there um but obviously you can't I could, but uh, I had my dad follow me on the scooter, and I didn't want him to get stuck. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I, I'll do something that's a little special for the first shirt. I think the shirt is the best way to go, uh, just because you know everyone can wear a shirt, and um, I could do stickers as well. But the Teespring thing is like, you guys have to understand with the Teespring spring thing, it's no money out of my pocket directly. So maybe I will do stickers if they have that option. 
I just don't want to like buy a bunch of stickers or buy a bunch of shirts and then like oh god damn that was a bump in a fucking tit I don't want to buy a shit ton of stuff and then not enough people wanting them and then end up with like fucking 25 shirts and start giving them away to like homeless kids or some shit and everybody in my town will be wearing Cap and Mira fucking shirt <laughs> oh shit everyone red bank at least what the fuck is that thing what the fuck is that thing what the f is that thing? We gotta catch up to that. What the hell is that thing? Oh god, it's like this cool ass old car. It's it's smoking like a motherfucker. Yeah, so I'll do that. I'll I'll make an announcement on Instagram and I'll put a link. I'll I'll put up a video that's like kind of like a do it with Dan video where he's like, hey guys, uh, this is my life. This is me without my helmet on. Uh, yeah, the old Billy. No, I'm, I'm just busting his balls. Um, this guy's burning fuel like a motherfucker. You guys could smell it. He's running rich. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. Bitches. Peace out. Peace out.